Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Chapter 13, the Muggle-born Registration Commission in the heart of a darkening world, where fear and oppression grip the magical community, three young heroes embark on a daring mission that embodies courage and resilience. Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger, disguised as ministry employees, infiltrate the very heart of the enemy's lair, the Ministry of Magic. Their goal is to retrieve a horcrux from the clutches of Dolores Umbridge, a symbol of the oppressive regime now in power. As they step into the ministry, the air is thick with tension. The once bustling and vibrant corridors now echo with a sense of dread and control. Employees move hurriedly, heads down, avoiding eye contact, as the trio navigates through the familiar yet ominously altered environment. The ministry, once a place of justice and order, now stands as a bastion of fear and tyranny, disguised under the effects of Polyjuice Potion, Harry, Ron, and Hermione blend into the flow of ministry workers, their hearts pounding with a mix of fear and determination. Every step they take is calculated, every glance measured, as they make their way towards their target. The weight of their mission presses heavily upon them, but they push forward, driven by the urgency of their quest entering the dark and foreboding hall where the Muggle-born Registration Commission is in session, the trio witnesses a scene that fuels their resolve. Muggle-born witches and wizards, innocent and terrified, are dragged before the Commission, accused of the baseless crime of stealing magic. The proceedings are harsh and unforgiving, with Dolores Umbridge presiding over the Commission with a cold, gleeful authority, the sight of Umbridge, with her sickly sweet voice and cruel demeanor, fills Harry with a burning anger. She represents everything they are fighting against, prejudice, injustice, and the abuse of power. As they watch the interrogation unfold, the trio's determination hardens. They must succeed in their mission, not only to retrieve the Horcrux, but to stand against the evil that has taken hold of their world. Hermione, ever the quick thinker, nudges Ron and Harry, signaling that it's time to act. With a surge of adrenaline, they maneuver through the crowd, carefully avoiding suspicion. The tension is palpable, but they move with purpose and precision, their minds focused on the task at hand. Every step brings them closer to Umbridge, and with each passing moment, their resolve strengthens. As they draw near, the reality of their mission hits with full force. The stakes are incredibly high, and failure is not an option. The lives of countless innocent people, the very future of the magical world, rest on their shoulders. But in this moment of intense pressure, Harry, Ron, and Hermione draw upon the strength of their friendship and the unwavering belief in their cause. With a final, determined push, they reach Umbridge, ready to confront the symbol of their oppression. The encounter is tense and fraught with danger, but their courage does not waver. Through quick thinking and sheer bravery, they manage to retrieve the Horcrux, striking a significant blow against the dark forces that seek to dominate their world. Emerging from the Ministry, the trio breathes a sigh of relief, but their victory is bittersweet. They have witnessed firsthand the cruelty and injustice that their world has succumbed to, but they have also proven that resistance is possible. Their infiltration of the Ministry is a testament to their bravery and the unyielding spirit of those who stand against tyranny. The story of Harry, Ron, and Hermione's daring mission is a beacon of hope and resilience. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, courage and friendship can light the way. Their journey is far from over, but this chapter serves as a powerful reminder that no matter how formidable the enemy, the strength of the human spirit and the bonds of friendship can overcome the greatest of challenges. In a time where darkness seeks to suppress the light, the fight for justice and freedom becomes more crucial than ever. In the heart of this struggle, three brave souls, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger, undertake a perilous mission to infiltrate the Ministry of Magic. Their goal is not just to retrieve a Horcrux, but to challenge the very essence of tyranny that has taken hold. Disguised as Ministry employees, they navigate the cold and oppressive corridors of a place that once stood for justice, but now reeks of fear and control. Their disguises, though effective, do little to ease the tension coursing through their veins. The Ministry is a fortress of malevolence, and at its core, they must face one of the darkest figures in the wizarding world, 
Dolores Umbridge, Umbridge, now head of the Muggleborn Registration Commission, sits high and mighty, reveling in her newfound power. Her presence is suffocating, a stark reminder of the cruelty that has permeated the ministry. Draped around her neck is the locket Horcrux, a sinister symbol of her authority. She wields it like a badge of honor, unaware that it is a piece of Voldemort's soul, corrupting and amplifying her already sadistic nature. As the trio steps into the hearing chamber, they are confronted with the harsh reality of the Commission's work. Muggle-born witches and wizards, frightened and defenseless, are paraded before Umbridge, who interrogates them with a twisted pleasure. Her voice, sickly sweet, drips with condescension and malice as she accuses them of stealing magic. Each word she utters is a lash, each accusation a further tightening of her grip on the wizarding community. Harry, Ron, and Hermione stand in the shadows, watching in horror as the proceedings unfold. They see Mary Catamole, a kind-hearted woman, trembling before Umbridge's merciless scrutiny. The injustice of it all fuels their resolve. They must act, not only to retrieve the Horcrux, but to save these innocent people from the clutches of this despotic regime, with a plan forming in their minds, they make their move. Hermione, ever the strategist, takes the lead. She uses her quick wit and resourcefulness to create a diversion, drawing attention away from their true intent. Ron and Harry, seizing the moment, position themselves to strike. In a blur of motion, they spring into action. Wands at the ready, they disable the guards, their spells precise and unerring. The element of surprise is on their side, and they move swiftly through the chamber. Panic ensues, but amid the chaos, Harry's eyes are locked on Umbridge. The locket, the symbol of her power, must be theirs. As they confront her, the air crackles with tension. Umbridge, caught off guard, lashes out, but her spells are no match for the trio's combined strength. In a moment of poetic justice, Harry rips the locket from her neck, its dark influence severed. The sight of her disarmed and vulnerable is a triumph a small but significant victory against the forces of oppression, but their mission is not yet complete. They turn their attention to the prisoners, the innocent souls who have suffered under Umbridge's tyranny. Mary Catamole, tears of relief streaming down her face, is the first to be freed. The trio works quickly, unlocking chains and guiding the captives to safety. Each person they rescue is a testament to their bravery and the indomitable spirit of resistance. As they make their escape, the ministry in disarray, a sense of hope begins to permeate the air. The trio's actions have struck a blow against the darkness, igniting a spark of rebellion that will continue to grow. They have shown that even in the face of overwhelming evil, courage and friendship can make a difference. The journey ahead is fraught with danger, but Harry, Ron, and Hermione are undeterred. They have faced one of their greatest challenges and emerged victorious. Their mission serves as a powerful reminder that no matter how dire the circumstances, the fight for justice and freedom is always worth it. I in this chapter of their story, they stand not just as heroes, but as symbols of hope and resilience. Their journey continues, and with it, the promise that light will always prevail over darkness. In the heart of darkness, amidst an environment of fear and oppression, three young heroes embark on a mission that will change the course of the wizarding world. Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger, disguised as ministry employees, find themselves deep within the lion's den, the Ministry of Magic, now under the control of Voldemort and his Death Eaters. Their objective is clear but perilous, retrieve the Horcrux locket from the clutches of Dolores Umbridge, a symbol of their relentless enemy's power. As they navigate the cold, sterile corridors of the ministry, tension fills the air. Every step is measured, every glance cautious, knowing that a single misstep could spell disaster. The walls seem to close in, the oppressive atmosphere choking any semblance of hope. But these young wizards are driven by a purpose greater than themselves, a determination to fight against the darkness that seeks to engulf their world. I and the bowels of the ministry, the trio encounters the Muggleborn Registration Commission. Here, the true horror of the regime is laid bare. 
muggle-born witches and wizards, stripped of their dignity, stand accused of stealing magic. At the helm of this inquisition is Dolores Umbridge, her sickeningly sweet voice dripping with malice. She presides over the proceedings with a smug sense of superiority, the Horcrux locket hanging prominently around her neck, a twisted symbol of her authority. Harry's eyes fixate on the locket. It is more than a piece of jewelry, it is a fragment of Voldemort's soul, a key to his ultimate defeat. The plan, though fraught with danger, must be executed flawlessly. Hermione's quick thinking provides the necessary distraction, creating a moment of chaos that Harry seizes. With the precision of a seeker, he snatches the locket from Umbridge's neck. The cold metal burns his hand, a reminder of the dark magic it contains, but the victory is undeniable. They have secured a significant piece in the puzzle to destroy Voldemort, the success, however, is bittersweet. The act of retrieving the Horcrux sets off a chain reaction. The Ministry erupts into pandemonium, alarms blaring, and wizards and witches scrambling. The trio's presence is no longer a secret, and they must escape before they are captured. Their hearts pound as they weave through the chaotic corridors, spells flying past them, the very walls seeming to conspire against their escape. Ron and Hermione cover Harry's retreat their wands casting defensive spells to stave off the advancing guards. The bond between them is palpable, a testament to their unwavering friendship and trust in each other. They fight not just for their lives, but for the future of the wizarding world. Each step towards the exit is a battle won, each heartbeat a defiance against the tyranny that seeks to crush them, finally, they burst through the doors of the ministry, the cool air of freedom washing over them but there is no time to celebrate. The streets of London, though familiar, are fraught with danger. They apparate to the safety of Grimald Place, hearts still racing, minds reeling from the intensity of their escape. I and the sanctuary of their hideout, they take a moment to catch their breath. The Horcrux is theirs, but the journey is far from over. The weight of the locket is heavy, not just in their hands, but on their spirits. It is a reminder of the battles yet to come, the sacrifices that will be made, and the resilience required to see their mission through to the end. Their escape from the Ministry is a testament to their courage and ingenuity. It is a victory, a beacon of hope that even in the darkest of times, light can prevail. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are not just fighting for themselves. They are fighting for a world where justice and freedom reign. Their journey is perilous, their enemies formidable, but their resolve is unbreakable. As they prepare for the next stage of their quest, they know that every step taken is a step towards a brighter future. The Horcrux in their possession is a symbol of their progress, a tangible sign that they are capable of challenging even the greatest evil. The path ahead is shrouded in uncertainty, but together, they will face whatever comes their way. Their story is one of bravery, friendship, and unwavering determination. It is a story that inspires, reminding us all that no matter how dark the night, the dawn will always come. Harry, Ron, and Hermione are the harbingers of that dawn, and their journey is a beacon of hope for us all.